All right, in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this tank chassis. It is heavy, but you can make it light. And this is just to see what it, how it does. And I will not include the chip right here in the description. I will include another one that is not made by me. Made by me. And I cannot pronounce his name, so I'll put it in the description with it. But as you can see, it just works. Okay, first you will need a prop that's the length and the width that you want your tank to be, and the tires of your choice. So first, you will need to take easy precision, and do move first prop to second, and have everything set to whatever you want, and take the first prop you wanted to use, and use it with this side. Sometimes they, with odd number ones, you want to start with the outside, with the outside one, but with even ones, you either want to start right here or right here. Okay, you do that, and then look at this, and the one that's the closest to being that's closest to it and that's open. Do that, and just do that till it gets all the way down on both sides. Do it till it, do it on both sides, but do it all the way down, and it should look like this. Okay, now pull out the stacker tool and select front, and first do 15, or you can change it if you want to do 10, and do it for all the inside ones. Like this. Then for the outside two, select 20 or 25, whichever one you want, and do that. All for the all the outside four. Okay, now pull out the remover tool and remove all the top ones. Okay, so now it looks like that. Okay, over on this one, take out the weight tool. And make it 20,000 and make the base prop weigh 20,000. Okay, now make it weigh, now do 150. And these wheels already weigh 150, so that's good. And now you will need Axis Sentry Tool and take out it, take it out. Everything's zero and no collide is ticked, and these two are not ticked. Okay, first take, just do this. Left click on the tire and do that. For all of them. Okay, once you've done that, it should look like this. And to test it, just do that. As you can see, it bounces and yeah. And one cool thing about it is you can change the weights if you want to make it more bouncy or you want to make it less bouncy. See, that made it a little bit more stiff. Let's try 2,000. If you want to make a body for these, don't make the base prop weigh as much, because once you parent the body on, it weighs a little bit more. So, yeah. Okay. Now, after that, wire up the simple thing. Wire up the simple... Th whatever. But take a... Uh, entity marker tool and spawn one then link it to one side and spawn another one and link it to one back tire and then take the ball socket advanced ball socket set them all to zero and ball socket all the wheels together like this now do that to each side so if you spin this wheel it moves all of them okay now take out expression and spawn the expression that I have in the description and then spawn a advanced pot controller and do that and then wire it up so yeah and don't wire up the pot and gun because this doesn't have any gun or and if you put wire the pot up 
there's a little hollow that is in front of you into a circle. It's a sphere. So, yeah. Okay. And then test it out. Get out the remote control. Remote control tool. Then unfreeze it. And try it out. Okay, sometimes with this one, it's reverse. So all you have to do is... And I'll have the right code in the description where you don't have to do any of this settings. But you do this, do negative, and you can change this to 100. Okay, that should be enough. As you can see, it doesn't turn as fast, but that's one more thing about this at uh, this suspension. Do you see the wheels? They kind of wobble a lot. But this is actually really good if you can make your own code. Just try that. Okay, that's all for this tutorial.